Hey guys, it's Shadow. Today we're going to be looking at a pre-mill Drush Flush build order. It's one of the more tricky build orders due to the increasing amount of things you need to do in a standard Dark Age. I.e. ensuring you get the 10 gold, placing the barracks at the right time, force dropping off food, using the Drush to achieve value, etc. Credit goes to Moonfall for giving me a basic pre-mill Drush build specific to Prince and inspiring this video. Build two houses and send the first six villagers to sheep. The next four villagers go to wood. Villager 11 lures the boar. Villager 12 makes a house, then a barracks, and two more houses. You may need to force drop of the little wood to achieve placing the barracks out at this moment. This villager will wolf the rest of Dark Age using palisades. Villager 13 and 14 go to the boar underneath the TC, and don't forget to lure the second boar a little earlier than normal, at around 200 food on the old boar remaining. This is due to having more villagers on the boar than usual. Villager 15 goes to collect 10 gold, then goes to collect food underneath the TC. Start force dropping off food to maintain villager production whilst producing militia. Villagers 16 and 24 all go to food underneath the town centre, but important things to note during the rest of this build order. As soon as you have 100 wood, build a mill and send 4 villagers underneath the TC to collect berries in addition to this villager, so 5 on berries in total. You will want to see 2 farms soon after the boars have depleted. If these steps are not completed, it is likely you will lack food to pick up at the end of this build order. After Villager 24 has been completed, click Loom and click Feudal Age of 28 population, assuming your militia is still alive. As soon as you click Feudal Age, send 5 villagers to build a lumber camp on the second woodline, and add 1 additional villager to the first woodline. Four villagers should build a mining camp on gold. Continue walling, you ideally want to be fully walled relatively early on this build order in order to protect yourself against early scout rushes and the drush should be buying you time to get these walls up. The perfect uptime for this build is 11 minutes and 20 seconds. Get double bit axe, horse collar and drop an archery range and start training archers as soon as you hit feudal age. Send villagers to strike the trees and then seed farms until you have 8 in total. Then drop a blacksmith to get fletching in the secondary archery range when you're able to. As the secondary archery range is going up, send new villagers to gold until you have 8 in total on gold. Make it so new villagers are being tasked on straggler trees and then sent to make farms, and slowly retask your buried villagers to make farms as well.
At around 38 to 40 villagers, get wheelbarrow, then click up to the castle age. You may have to idle your archer production to be able to click up. If you are able to pick up sooner than this, do so, and if you are not quite able to, make one additional villager and force drop off, like so. At 40 villagers, the perfect uptime for this part of the build is 21 minutes and 55 seconds. A couple of notes to add to the end of this. You do not have to add the second range so late, you can opt for a heavier feudal play by adding the range earlier. This will delay your feudal age by a decent amount, and you may need to delay horse claw until the castle age click up, similar to a Men at Arms Archer's build. I tend to prefer the more economy based approach to this build though. If your opponent is going for an archer build as well, you may need to make your own skirmishes instead of archers, and possibly prioritise plus one defence over fletching. These adaptions will become more natural to you the more that you do these kinds of builds. For the purposes of learning the basics of this pre-mill drush build order, we have used Magyar's, a vanilla economy sieve for this build, but a follow-up video of this video will focus on the easier sieves to do a pre-mill drush with, and a lot of these sieves have a decent power spike on a drush flush build order. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to the channel to see more. Thanks for watching.